are we going today? Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Georgie, and we are in KL Central with my friends. <laughs> oh, guess where are we going today? There's a lot of people going to the same direction as us. So there are six of us, including me. Um, the six of us has been friends since the start of our degree, which is eight years ago. It's almost ends. Mm. So this year we're going to go to Hanyai. <laughs> we're riding KTM ETS. So we'll, we'll be riding a six hour train ride to Thailand. And all of us are so excited for this trip. And we've been planning this trip for almost three years now. The first, our initial. <laughs> Our initial plan was to go to Kelantan actually but the Kelantan trip is already full so we booked for uh, Hanyai Thailand instead. This is Zav and behind her is Mia. <laughs> this is Lida. This is Deha. Instructor picking out, uh, he's picking our tickets as uh, to see our tickets actually. And this is Ika. <laughs> <laughs> so be prepared when you're riding your train uh, at the early um, tur uh, journey so that whenever he came, so you can show off your tickets to him. <laughs> Oh, we're all in the hallway. What are we gonna do? Focus on Deha's face. <laughs> it's 12 a.m. and it's her birthday today. <laughs> she's so shy, but she's pleasantly surprised by it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Deha. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> so we've arrived at Padamisar where we'll be <coughs> changed to van. A van will be picking us up, but we didn't um reserve yet a van for us so the whole process is gonna be uh, spontaneous So from the platform to the exit of the station, we have to go through climbing stairs, uh, so be prepared for that. And there's also a toilet nearby the stairs, and once you exit the gate, um, there will be a lot of people calling out for vans, SIM cards. For us, we already bought our SIM cards at Shopee. So here is Teha. Distributing our SIM cards. 
because she's the one who buying it. You can easily get a van ride to hotel uh, with fares as low as charity ringgit per ride. They also give us an immigration card. This card is very important, so you have to keep it with you until the end of your trip. So yeah, uh, we arrived uh, around 4... 4.20 something like that. And the whole process took us about until 5. But the immigration opened at 6, so we're... <laughs> We have to wait for the van to pick us up around 5.50 It's not van actually we're riding right now, it's a car So the car will be sending us to immigration And once we arrive at we immigration to all the process And after that do we get into the van So this is our vans. Uh, very how should I say this? This van is quite famous right now among us nations on TikTok. So we're all like excited to get into this festive kind of vans with all the lights and how big it was. It can accommodate up to ten people, I think. Since there are six of us, so there's another group together with us. And here it is a reminder also, uh, it's one hour late to Malaysia since okay so Malaysia is for example is um, 6 a.m. so Thailand would be 5 a.m. at that time we were like quite confused to align with somewhat like the one hour delay of time differences at the brakes so beautiful this is where we're staying uh, for the whole trip uh, it's called Luxana resident which is uh, quite far from city center but we like it because it has a beautiful scenery and it's quite far from noise and most important of all our friend cannot run away from our hotel <laughs> she already planned to get out of the hotel to go and have some fun with some foreigners when we're all so worried about her but since we're living in this Luxana hotel and it's far from city center we're like so relieved about it <laughs> sorry <Ka. laughs> And most people in Hanyai can speak somewhat in Malay, so it's quite a buffer, especially to my brain, where I actually ready to speak in English and then suddenly surprised to hear them talking, literally 
good in Malay. So I was like, uh, uh, like that. And this is our room. Actually, Mia wanted to change into the Batman room. She doesn't want to stay in the princess room because <laughs> to her, she says it's cringy as hell. But I like it. It's spacious. We have enough space for six people. We have good ventilations, have a nice air conditioning, good lightings, nice scenery. You can see actually there is a farm behind there. We have a balcony. Yeah, there is a farm there actually. And a very big bathroom and separate with toilet. What we didn't expect is we also get a free breakfast for the whole stay. The breakfast is just simple of, you know, toast, jams. after get changed get freshen up we didn't sleep okay we didn't go back to sleep uh, we headed to our first destinations that is uh, to this one of the many popular restaurants recommended in TikToks most of our visits is what recommended in TikToks so this trip itself is gastronomy trip <laughs> but for me I think it's more for you know spending time with my friends because it's already been three years since our last trip together we've met a few times in Malaysia but nothing beats when you go to a foreigner country with your friends And yeah, I noticed this, but every time we book a tuk-tuk from Grab, we always get the blue colored ones, not the red ones. I wonder why. Yeah, this is the first restaurant where we're gonna be going. It's Dim Sum Chabara. It's specialized in dim sum, but I have to say, the dim sum is quite so-so. The only good ones is the lava salted egg, I think the name is. The one on the board there with 35 bucks. That one really good. My friend said I didn't order that, but she says it's good. The one I ordered is the uh, Kaya one. But I think the one that really pulls me for this place is gyoza. The art gyoza is so delicious. Look at that. There's four different kinds of gyoza. The fried ones, the steamed ones. There's also fried with um, okonomi, no, takoyaki sauce. And there's also the cheese sauce. My favorite is gyoza with cheese topping because it's really delicious. It's so yummy. It's crunchy. There's supple cheesiness on it, on, and there's it complements each other compared to the usual uh, fried ones. The takoyaki sauce is okay. I think it's number two on my list. The third one is the fried one and the last one is the steamed one. I never like the steamed <laughs> gyoza, I have to say. I really, I, most my favorite is the fried gyoza. And since this is gastronomy trip, we're not, and we're on a budget. So we're <laughs> our plan is to 
share our foods and just order a few and take each other foods and have a taste really if we really liked it we could add more <laughs> yeah, we didn't see it. We didn't see it. Thankfully, it's not covered for you. <laughs> So we decided from Dim Sum Chabura to go to our next restaurant by just walking. It took us around 10 minutes or so. <laughs> yeah, we just up for saving and burn some calories. <laughs> Bingsu Nom 6 Yeah. 
Tadã! Tá, tá. <risos> This is Bingsu. It's a dessert specialty shop, but we're all hungry for heavy foods, you know, like rice, meat, I mean noodles. <laughs> if we're instead we're ordering just one Bingsu and many of other heavy foods, you know. We're ordering mango bingsu, which is really delicious. I like the mango bingsu, but I like the ice cream more rather than the, the mangoes. And the mangoes is all my favorites, but it's delicious. And this one, I have to say, the tom yum is really good. It's creamy. It's um santan tom yum. It's tangy. It's spicy, and the noodles is springy and the. Seafood is so fresh and it's locked. The a whole boat, a whole boat, a whole bowl can um, share with two people. Mia is ordering a salad noodle, and Ika is ordering rice with cut prakao. Was it the name again? And she's ordered another dessert, which is. Um, bread drenched in caramel which is really sweet but if you dip it into the bingsu it's really good <laughs> Now we're at Central Festival. We went back to our hotel, got freshened up, changed our clothes into more lighter clothes, and we're here for dinner. We're hungry again, <laughs> but Ika is on another mission. She saw Starbucks. 
she wanted to buy, I guess she just wanted to go for window sh uh, window shopping. Now this is another TikTok popular place. It's a potato fried place with different kinds of um, sauces. And our dinner is a really budget prices at 60 baht which is really cheap and we add another uh, th that um, chicken uh, chicken fried boneless chicken fried which is really crunchy and although it's cold it's still so good So from Central Festival to our next destination which is Asian Night Market is five to eight hours walk so <laughs> we were like yeah we just have to you know we need to put the calories we need to let go all of those junk we eat before so we're walking <laughs> <laughs> Zaf, what are you drinking, Zaf? I'm drinking green tea. Oh, yes. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go I'm 
We'll try and see. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. 